looks like banana, but it is plantain. Plantain is generally eaten when cooked, mostly in Africa. That's how we, we see plantain as a staple food. We cook it before we can consume. That is, it is not ripened as compared to that of banana. It's quite green. It will be there for a couple of Hello viewers, welcome to Smart Agro Innovations. Today we are going to talk about plantains and bananas. The banana and the plantains, sometimes we interrelate them. Sometimes people say they are one, it's one. But there are differences between a plantain plant and a banana plant. Ranging from morphological characteristics to genetic constitution. So, if you have plantain, and we have banana, the two are different. These are the differences. They all belong to the genus Musa. So they are either called Musa sapientum or Musa paradisaca, whatever. So they are within the Musa genus. Now, their morphological characteristics are very close because they all originated from Asia. So, if you look at, you will start from the leaves. The leaves of plantains are generally broad. But if you take that off, now, leaf <coughs> is what? Generally broad. And this is elongated. In fact, after this class, we will take you to the field and show you the differences. If you take the leaf of plantain, it is generally broad. But if you take that of banana, it is erogated. If you see it, it will be quite pointed going to the mouth. We will take you to the field so you see the differences. The plantain, the leaves are very, very green in color. The leaves are green in color. The leaves of banana is green, but it's a little bit light green. The leaves of banana is light green, not all that pure green as compared to that of plantain. Now let's look at the stem. If you take the stem of a plantain, the sword sucker, the water sucker, and all those things, there are differences between the two. That of banana, they are quite, they look like a sword. Quite pointed, quite also, um, they have very strong support. It is not easy to approach a um, banana sucker from its parent uh, plants. But it is quite easier to approach the uh, sucker of plantain. Now, let's move straight to their level of disease resistance. Banana generally are considered as wild plants and they are very resistant to diseases and pests on the field. For example, it is not all that easy to see Panama disease or black cigatoka in bananas, but it is very common. To see such kind of diseases in plantain. Now let's talk about the fruit. If you take the fruit bunches of the two, the plantain and the banana, plantain has a very broad and long fruit as compared to that of banana. Banana fruits are quite short as compared to that of plantain. Banana also ripe easily and they are normally eating raw so they are fruits but if you take plantain when you come to africa you see that with plantain you have to eat it when cooked if it is not ripe if it's ripe you can still eat it 
but you see that the sweetness is best in banana. When the banana fruit wrappings, what it does is it becomes pure yellow as compared to that of plantains. So the differences are there. I cannot talk only about them. Let's go to the field and do the field practical observation so that you can see banana and plantain that they are different. A practical field. These are bananas. This is the wild type. We'll show you the differences between plantains and banana as we start earlier. This is a banana, a typical wild type banana plant. Let's look at the morphological characteristics. Let's start from the leaf. If you look at the leaves of banana, the wild type, you will see that it is green all right. But the inner portion look a little bit whitish. It is not like that in plantain. Plantains are generally green. From there, you see that the leaves are a little bit pointed, getting to the tips. It is a little bit pointed and not quite open as compared to that of plantain. When you finish, we take you to a plantain farm too. So you see. Let's take the stem for example yeah. you look at the stem of banana you see that it is not all that green as well a little bit whitish and generally slim you see if you look at the base of the pseudo stem it's not all that big if you look at this one but banana generally are hardy than plantain if you look at this you see that even they have to at the point that they have to cut it but still, it's still emerged. The inner epical meristem is very hard as compared to that of plantain. Bananas growing like wild plants can also survive or withstand many diseases and they withstand the climatic conditions irrespective of the location. Bananas generally are able to produce more suckers than plantain. If you take one banana plant to a particular location, before you realize, then it has overtaken the whole place. It came naturally, it wasn't planted. If you look at this, we have one group here. They were grown naturally. Nobody planted them. Let's look at this one too. You see that a lot of them are found on the same spot. So if you see this location, this location is also there. As compared to that of plantain, it's not like that. Plantain, one plantain cannot give us many, 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 many uh, uh, um, suckers like this. But with banana, you can get a lot when they are being set to a particular location. Let's look at the fruit bunch. Of banana though this is a wild variety but if you look at though it is quite smallish but if you look at the differences you see that it is not bigger than that of plantain the fruits itself are very short as compared to plantain fruits and generally the stock is very hard and green as compared to that of plantain now let's move on to a plantain field also a typical plantain farm now if you look at the differences of a plantain plant you can see as i told you if you look at the leaves the leaves are broad as compared to that of banana they are broad and very green in color as compared to that of bananas now apart from the leaf you see that the stem is also there the stem is not all that hard as compared to that of banana banana stem are quite woody and they are hard 
But we look at plantain. They are being affected by a variety of diseases. Look at them. Panama, uh, Sigatoka, they are also found in here. So the differences are very clear. If you also look at the circuit, of, if you look at the pseudo stem. Though this farm has been here for the past five years. But still, you cannot see many, many plantains on a particular group as compared to that of banana that we showed you. So, there is a clear indication that banana is able to multiply in number faster, unlike plantains. Now looking at this, let's go and then watch some of the fruits. Um, if you look at the fruit formation, you see this banana, uh, this plantain. The fruit formation, at least you can see many fruit ba fruit bunches on the stalk. Um, for, apart from there, let's go and look at some of the fruit bunches. Now, this is plantain fruit bunch. You can see that the fruit bunch is a little bit, a little bit big. Though the variety has short hands, just like banana, but it is plantain. Plantain is generally eaten when cooked, mostly in Africa. That's how we see plantain as a staple food. We cook it before we can consume. That is, it is not ripened as compared to that of banana. It's quite green. It will be there for a couple of days before it will start ripening. When it ripens, what you can do is that maybe you cook and you eat. But banana can be eaten raw, though plantain can also be eaten raw. So generally, basically, um, these are the differences between plantains and bananas. This is a typical plantain plantation. You can see that the leaves are really, really um, green, very green in color as compared to that of bananas. So this is a plantain farm.